Democrat supporters continue to insist that Hillary Clinton lost the election because she's a woman instead of a corrupt politician under investigation by the FBI. They haven't taken into consideration that being a female doesn't alleviate you from being a moral and responsible human being. Yesterday, even Premier Rachel Notley tweeted congratulations to Donald Trump, I'm assuming with her nose pinched. Within that statement, she mentioned Clinton's historic campaign and how so much more needs to be done and there's such a long way to go. Obviously suggesting that the reason Clinton lost was because of her gender. And then of course she had to tweet that out in a separate post as well, just to underscore how horrible this misogynistic world is to live in for females. What's more is that this glass ceiling that everyone is talking about has been broken about a million times at least. Last time I checked, six of ten of Canada's provinces and all three territories have had a female premier. Actually, Agnes McPhail was the first woman elected to the House of Commons in 1921. So, really, who's being regressive here? Everyone keeps talking about that glass ceiling and how it hasn't been shattered. In fact, Hillary herself referred to it in her concession. She obviously didn't get the memo that Kellyanne Conway was the first woman to run a Republican presidential campaign that was successful. So how's that for breaking a glass ceiling? Unlike a Democrat tactic, Trump chose Conway to run the campaign not because she has a vagina, but because she's competent. But here's the thing, the people complaining that the Democrats lost the election because Hillary is a woman are the exact reason why the election went to Donald Trump. The Democrats had a losing strategy in using tactics like segregating everyone categorically by race, gender and religion under the guise of being inclusive and promoting diversity. They don't treat everyone the same way, which is really what inclusivity is all about. Instead, they hypocritically focused on every single difference between each group and used it to divide an entire population. Case in point, trotting out the narrative that a woman's life in America is absolutely horrible because they'll never be equal to men and then doubling down by suggesting that Clinton lost the election because she's a girl. The thing about the people screeching about Hillary Clinton not winning is not only are they horrible at making a case that vaginas should win elections, but they're also the reason why their worst nightmare played out in real life on Tuesday night. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. If you liked that video, make sure to click the link below to subscribe to The Rebel. That way you won't miss any of our email updates.